Hello traders, this is Mike Billion. Today is August 19, 2015, and let's talk about the market. Let's start with the S&P futures. Right here, you can see this is a one hour, 20 days chart. That Monday was a head fake. We entered uh, short and the spider, DIA, IWM, all ATF from the major index. And this head fake, uh, we were nervous about it This because we thought that it was gonna test the major 2120 right here. It was possible, but the next day he confirmed that it was a head fake. And I say, use hold because this thing is gonna crash. My positions were based on DMI. If you know how to trade DMI, it will tell you market direction all the time. Right here, as you can see, this major trend line was a head fake right here. And today, when the when the FOMC was announced, the minutes, uh, it was leaked, uh, by the way, and it bounced and it test that level. So that was another entry to get sure if you were int doing intradays, if you know this line right here. Now, it looks like it wants to break out the 2020, the 2075, but I think based on DMI that this thing is gonna go down. Down where? I think it's gonna, if you break down this 2067, is going to go to these levels around around 2026 or, or 2000. So that's the level that I'm watching. Um, so keep an eye on those. Let's talk about the spider. The spider, as you can see here, it break out right here, heck fake. It break down today, but it, it finished inside. Now, we are right at the apex of this symmetrical triangle wedge. So a move is coming. Both sides have been violated by price action. The bulls violate the side head fake. The bears violate this side, this uh, part of the, the triangle, but he, he went inside again. But I think based on DMI and the minus direction will be being the lead, that this thing is gonna go down to 203. That has been my target. Today, I took on 40% profits in this one because I was sure in the Russell and the down jumps and I don't want to be too sh too short and you saw what happened today when that team bounced It was so hard. It was really nice bounce nice for intraday But it was good to trim position and just keep a, a good side Remember risk management is the key of success if you're trading now. Let's talk about the IWN This is the Russell the ITS for the Russell the same, every time he tests this line, he, he fake, it's a fake. He goes there, bound, he goes there, bound. And and I was uh, watching the 20 double, the 20 moving average, he fell right there. Monday, he went, he break out that level, but the next day he didn't break out and today he continue break down. The target, 115, write it down, 115 is my level. I think at, at that level, the directions are gonna be overextended and also RSI, and that's gonna be a nice level to enter loan for for a, um, for a bounce. I don't know based on the news that if we wanna bounce really hard from there, or we just gonna bounce, uh, we are gonna get a technical bounce and continue down and break down this market. I don't know yet, I need to know when price goes to this level, what's gonna happen, if it's gonna bounce or it's gonna continue. That will take us to a bearish market. Let me show you the uh, DIA. This is the industrial average ATS for the Dow Jones. And you can see here, it break down this major multi-year support, but it bounced from there. It, it fight, the bulls fight that level, and it continue up until today. It break down again, but again, it, it continue right here. So, if tomorrow it confirms below today's price action, which, which is 173.12, I think for sure this thing is gonna go to 170, which is the major, major support right here. But you have to keep in mind that uh, we, if we go to 170, this major uptrend channel is gonna be broken and that's gonna, that's gonna uh, send a signal to sell to many traders and it might get very ugly. It might go to 150A, which is this major, major support. Now let's talk about Apple. 
Apple, I say to many, many times, I said, this is bearish, this is not bullish. Yeah, it's bouncing, it's bouncing, but DMI is bearish, and I think it's gonna go to major support 103, 105. That's the major support, and that's the major support because it's a multi-year trend support, and that's the level that I want, I, um, I want, I'm waiting to buy Apple. Apple right here is bearish. If you have calls, get out because this is gonna go to 103. Now, if you see that this thing bounce again from 110, that could be a, a nice signal because it did bounce right there uh, in August 12, so that can be a nice signal to go long also. But I prefer to wait and be patient and wait for 103, 105. Now let's talk about Tesla. I was trading Tesla many weeks ago. I said there's nothing to watch right here, but this thing based on news, and that's what I don't like about Tesla, that it doesn't move technically. You know, every time there's news or rumors, it move up. There's a lot of people following this stock. So it's very difficult to go short or long on this one. So it break down on earnings report and you already closed the gap right here. So it was crazy because it, the numbers were not good, but based on rumors and stuff, and you know, the company is great. Don't get me wrong, the company is great, but uh, uh, um, you know, if you read those reports, it's bad. They're not making money, they're spending money, and everything they have is based on, on rumors, and they're gonna do this, and they're gonna do that. And I'm gonna point it out. 3D system was the same thing. Everybody was talking about the 3D printers. They're gonna do this, they're gonna do that. It's gonna be excellent. They're gonna print whatever. It was like $80, now it's under tens. So be careful trading Tesla. I think right now, technically, it's at the, this level right here, which is um, resistant, and it's the 50 simple moving average. It looks like it's fake right here. It's a fake breakout. So if you confirm the fake out below today's price action lows, which is 255, this thing is gonna go down like a stone. The same way it went up, the same way it's gonna go down and basic the 220s. Now, don't get me wrong, it's bullish in DMI, it's still bullish in DMI. I will need to see some price action below today's low and to see if we break down the five simple moving average to get to get short because right now with all those news it's, it's crazy to go short right here so keep an eye on the five simple moving average and 255 now let's talk about another one let's talk about gg gg is gold we we sell nice hundred percent profits on the 50 simple moving average and i was watching this one this in break breakout and now it's testing again the 50 simple moving average. I wanted to point it out because this is a second test and I want to point it out because if tomorrow I confirm, this thing can move really high from here. So I might enter calls with a $17, $17 target. Keep an eye on this one. What is the entry? If it, if it goes about the highest of the day, 15.29, Get long. DMI is bullish and is strong. Now let's talk about Netflix. Netflix, as you can see here, I don't want to enter here long. Look at this resistance right here, this trend line right here. It's right there, very near to that resistance. DMI is bullish, so I don't want to enter short in this one. I don't want to do anything in this one. Just watch. You know, when you don't, you don't see anything to trade, just watch. It doesn't matter how many articles you read about Netflix, how many... People are telling you to go long. If I see a trade that is very near this trend line, this major trend line, why you wanna buy right here? It's crazy. Now, I don't wanna short this thing because DMI is bullish and strong. So it might move right here, up and down, up and down, up and down, and continue up. But it's not a good trade to enter long. I wanna just, I wanted to just watch. There's other things that you wanna watch. Facebook, right here, is holding besides the market breaking down and everything, DMI is bullish, it's strong. I think if you break out 96, 78, I'm gonna go long because I like Facebook. My target end of the year is $120. Just watch. It's on my long-term portfolio. Now, let's talk about VIX. Let me show you the VIX because it's very interesting when you have the VIX as, uh, and, and you can 
it can tell you on many teams. I have this Fibonacci levels on the VIX, and every time it break out the 1457, the market gets bearish, and you have to know that. Now, when it fails, then the market starts going up. So I'm going to be watching if tomorrow is going to continue because the last three times we break out this level 1457 on the VIX, we fail and the market move up really fast. So tomorrow if we fail and goes down below 1457, that's going to be a signal for me to close my iShares Russells and my DIA down jump ATF puts because that's what how I trade and that's that's a, a very nice signal you need you need to watch also but I don't think it's gonna happen this based on DMI this thing is bullish and I think it's gonna go to $20 again right here if it goes to $20 then the spider the DIA the IWF everything is gonna go to the targets I mentioned mentioning you to, to you so now let's talk about the last one let's talk about oil I, I, I'm watching oil on this one, Apache Corporation, one of the, and I'm watching this falling wedge. Put it in your watch list. Put this thing on your watch list. If you break out this falling wedge, get long. That's a present for you. Traders, get into my billion. Learn how to trade. Learn how to spot good trades. Learn how to do it yourself. Learn how to make money. Learn learn all the indicators the good indicators that it will show you good trades i will show you that i will mentor you join my billion i promise you that you're gonna learn this is everything for today Terry on.